security section, um, security and LoRaWAN are four different things. Um, all of these are equally important. Secure boot, uh, firmware update verification. So when there is a uh, firmware update, your device needs to verify that it is an authentic uh, image. Um, there is the two LoRaWAN specific things. So storing root key securely and also um, uh, the cryptographic operations that are uh, LoRaWAN specific. So a secure solution, um, what, we, what we need is that we need to decouple the trust relation uh, that we currently see. So next to decoupling the trust, it has to work at scale, it has to be small, cheap, uh, it has to uh, use very little power, and uh, it needs to support transfer of ownership. Um, so what we built uh, together with Microchip is this secure element. It's the ATECC 608A TNG LoRa. You can buy this uh, from your distributors uh, online in small quantities, I believe from uh, 10 units. So it has, it has two benefits really. It is, uh, it's super secure. Uh, the root keys are stored in the device, in, in these secure elements securely. And also these uh, secure elements are already provisioned. And so you don't need to think about uh, key provisioning anymore, which is a benefit for device makers um, because it saves them cost for uh, provisioning devices. But it's also much more secure because you don't have to send your uh, root keys to your contract manufacturer uh, while they, uh, for them to program these uh, keys in the end devices. So this is not only a secure element uh, solution that we came up with, it also comes with a secure process to claim devices. So um, in the middle you see the joint server and I already uh, presented that this joint server is used to activate devices and the joint server has access to the root keys. So this is really the, the, the trusted party uh, in, in LoRaWAN. Um, Device makers, they can buy secure elements and um, when they buy secure elements, they get a manifest file, which is a proof of ownership uh, that they own the, these uh, secure elements. So this manifest doesn't contain any keys. It's just uh, proving the ownership of the secure elements and the device maker can claim their secure elements on the joint server uh, uh, before they start producing the devices. Now, when the devices are ready and finished and they are boxed, the device maker sells the device to the end user. And instead of sending the root keys, uh, the device maker sends a QR code uh, to the end user. And the end user can claim the device uh, via different ways. So it could be a custom uh, front end uh, that uses the API. Um, the end user can use the console directly that I just showed. Uh, we also have command line support for scripts. Um, uh, but also here is, uh, it's going to be uh, the QR code scanning app, um, which uh, claims the device on the joint server. So this is the, the security process for, uh, for claiming devices. And we already have a large ecosystem uh, around the joint server. So these device makers are all in our uh, joint server ecosystem. Not all of these are using secure elements. That's not necessary. Uh, we have a, um, a secure uh, exchange also uh, without secure elements, um, but the secure element solutions that we have are with uh, microchip, uh, ST, trusted objects, and uh, Cypress.